This is something that I haven't been able to stop thinking about for weeks. And now that I'm uh, no longer holding myself to any sort of standard uh, online or at all, that's line 3.0. I think this is this is, I think, the, the type of uh, garbage you can expect from now on. This is what I wanted to do. I want to rank the political alignment to various fast food mascots. But when I started collecting fast food mascots, I realized uh, there's very few interesting ones. So I added in also other food mascots and cereal mascots. Let's get the obvious out of the out of the way. All right. Obviously, in real life, all of these characters, these beloved characters, they, they would all be in the lower right quadrant. They, they would all be in the lower right and upper right quadrants like that. In real life, none of them would be on the left. Obviously, I'm not going for what I think they represent, because what they represent are terrible, horribly processed food companies. What I'm going for is their vibe, because that's more fun. Because and I and I feel the need to to specify that, because if I didn't fucking a week from now, I would be getting people going. Can you believe that? Like, uh, Dot Slime thought that the Noid is uh, libertarian left. Like, I don't actually think that it's it's all for bits and jokes. When I think of Starbucks, I think of customizing drinks a lot, which leans me towards libertarian. When I think of Starbucks, it's like effete West Coast liberals who big city they're, they They don't have family values. Uh, Burger King is an easy choice, I think because he's a king, right? He's 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 obviously like about as far right and, and authoritarian as it gets. Like he's a literal king. The only thing that gives me pause, right, is that he's, he appears to be a benevolent king insofar as he provides hamburgers to people by surprising them and scaring them quite badly, which I don't feel like the average king would do. I feel like the average king doesn't care if their subjects are hungry. He seems to. I don't know if Chef Boyardee, Boyardee was a real person. We're not ranking the politics of the real person, okay? And I'm setting that precedent now. We're not ranking the politics of the real person, merely the vibe the mascot gives off. Provides cheap food for the people that is pre-cooked and that, that it, it makes it easier for people to feed like their kids and stuff. But on the other hand, the food is also slightly poisonous in the way that all of the food on this list is. So like, let's not get it twisted. Like it's not an act of benevolence. Chef Boyardee is on the left. I think we can all agree on that much. I think he's generally more libertarian than authoritarian. I don't I don't know. I don't get a strong feeling from him either way. Now, Colonel Sanders kind of complicated mustache and facial hair. That makes me think a little bit libertarian. He, he, he very much cares about property rights is my my view, because he's got the 11 herbs and spices formula that he keeps secret, like it's all about intellectual property. Now, the Burger King Kids Club, I, I think they're going to have to be libertarian left, right? Because they 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 work democratically. They, they don't they, they, they it, this is there's no leader of the Burger King Kids Club. You would think naturally the leader would be Kid Vid because of his cool sunglasses. Burger King Kids Club is a decentralized leaderless movement. Now, the Honey Nut Cheerios B, whose name I learned is Buzz. Th this one's tough because this bee has no personality. He's just a bee who likes the cereal that he was made for. Which I feel like all bees like honey. Like that's not, that can't be your thing. He's a bee, which I think there's stuff we can infer from that. Like, I'm sorry to say it, bees are authoritarians. Surely they have a queen. But again, like I've not, I've not heard a lot of arguments for like worker management or, or, or rights from Buzz the Bee. Captain Crunch, this one's easy. This one's easy. He waged, a, 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 frankly, a colonialist war against the Soggies. That mustache alone tells me that this man is not to be trusted. I, I do not trust Captain Crunch, and nor should you, because he, when you eat Captain Crunch, it tears up the roof of your mouth. He doesn't care who he hurts. Charles Entertainment Cheese claims to be a musician. Yeah, I know he had I know recently there was that uh, article about how Charles Entertainment's cheese's raps are surprisingly anti-capitalist, but I, I don't believe him. This is the only guy on this list that has his own currency, and that should tell you something. Charles Entertainment Cheese has his own script. Pillsbury Doughboy. I get a very centrist vibe from the Pillsbury Doughboy. He's soft, malleable. Now, the Green Giant, primitivist for sure. I almost want to say like, I get an eco-fash vibe from him. 
I feel like this is an important one. I feel like what you see in the Jolly Green Giant says a lot about you. Uh, okay, so Gr I think we're all we all we all want to know about Grimace right off the bat. I, he's got to be on the left because I don't want to live. I don't I don't want to make an enemy of Grimace. I don't know if we can survive it, but I'm thinking about it. I do think that Grimace would be Republican because first of all, we know that he's friends with Donald Trump. This is established canon. Secondly, he's just kind of dopey. <laughs> he's a dopey guy. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I think we can we can change him. We can pull him back from that dark abyss. But like Grimace definitely Grimace definitely believes in QAnon. Grimace is not going to get the vaccine. I don't think. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of judgment in chat, but I'm not seeing a lot of evidence to move Grimace. Uh, now, see, th see here. Now, this is an interesting point. Grimace is made of milkshakes, which we know kills fascists. I do think like obviously the Hamburglar libertarian, obviously, like we're not kids here. And I like that he takes the burgers from the, the burger aristocracy in McDonald land. I like that he takes them from Mayor McCheese. But he and 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 I, and my, I I like I feel like there's an illegalist bent to him for sure. Like he definitely doesn't obey the rules of the state, and I like that. But I don't I I I don't see him sharing his hamburg his his t stolen hamburgers with with his comrades in arms. Like he seems to work alone. Maybe like an egoist. Really think about this, everybody. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to rain on your parade and like bring out some of the hard truths about some of these mascots. But if he is truly like a threat to the power structure of Mary McCheese, why is Ronald McDonald friends with him? Because Ronald McDonald is the dog of the state. What kind of, what kind of political affiliation does a baby have? Answer, <laughs> they're a liberal. I no, I, I some of you, some of you, I think, are judging Baby Nut by the crimes of Mr. Peanut. And I don't think that's fair. The peanut butter bears, I see them as as off left. I, the way they stare at you from the, the circle logo to me says state surveillance, but also in the in this particular image, there's a rainbow uh, so that they can pretend like the company cares about gay rights so that they definitely are not culturally or, or you know, on the right. And I think we can agree with that. I don't eat this kind of peanut butter anymore. It's not it's not only because I'm scared of the mascot, so it's definitely a part of it. Jack in the Box, I don't know what his deal is, but he's definitely a serial killer based on the mask. He looks I recently watched the movie Nightbreed and he his mask really reminds me of the killer in that movie. Um, but he's obviously he's got I've never been to a Jack in the Box. I don't know what kind of food they serve. Now, Jolly Bee, I don't know nothing about Jolly Bee. Are they a bakery? I've driven by a Jolly Bee once. Fried chicken and spaghetti? First of all, that's the most leftist shit I've ever heard. I got a lot of opinions about Kool-Aid Man, to be honest. Kool-Aid Man is inherently giving. Literally, he's, he's a Christ-like figure in a lot, in many ways. He gives up his lifeblood to, to, for those that are thirsty. Like Christ, he overturns the established order. Kool-Aid was used by Jim Jones, so off left. Incorrect, that was Flavor Aid. Kool-Aid Man is, is off left. For sure. Not quite as authoritarian as the peanut butter bears. Little Caesar, definitely authoritarian, right? Um, he's the villain of Fallout New Vegas. He He's always going around crucifying people. He's even, look, he's even stabbed this pizza. He brought little Rome from a republic to a dictatorship. Now, Happy, he's a being of pure chaos, but I get a deeply malevolent energy from him. He's, he's pure evil. And I think he's not other than that. He has no ideological thinking. He's he's just out to spread suffering. And I'll stand by this. I don't care who, who disagrees with this one. I do not believe that Happy Meals are ideologically communist. Mr. Peanut, I, there, there is there is no more bourgeois peanut than Mr. Peanut. I have never seen a more bourgeois peanut in my life. Like he, he literally sells other peanuts to be eaten. I think he's like an ANCAP for sure. The sponge monkeys. Definitely strong chaos energy, so definitely not authoritarian. You could not, they will not obey you. That being said, they won't protect you. They don't care about you. I'm not gonna do Ronald McDonald, by the way, until last. I think that's only fair. I think he's he's by far the most powerful of the mascots and thus requires the most consideration. The AW root bear. Obviously he's a bear. This, this inclines me to move these guys. I struggle. 
I, I, I don't know if I can make an objective judgment on the A&W root beer. When I was a kid, for some reason, a disproportionate amount of my Christmas ornaments on my Christmas tree were the A&W root bear. The fact that he's a bear, right? Like we've established the precedent that bears are off left. We can't avoid it any longer. We must discuss the Noid. The Noid and the, and the Hamburglar, natural mirrors of one another. The Noid is a benevolent figure because, of course, he was the hero of the game Yo Noid. Like now, the Noid is back. The Noid is doing his thing. He's still around. He's stopping these, the Domino's self-delivery cars. Like he came out of retirement for one last job because he sees these like auto delivering cars like taking jobs from people that need them and he's like i gotta stop this i got i gotta respect the noid and i like i like too that the noid isn't in it for credit the noid the noid hides himself from the world no one cared who he was until he put on the mask his reasoning is pure he hates pizza and he hates robot cars so tony the tiger i know that a lot of you are probably horny for tony the tiger but we can't let that influence our decision okay can we agree to set that aside for now he's very encouraging he's a uh, example of positive masculinity you know he, he encourages people to to exercise and, and get fit but at the same time you know keep it a little sweet have a little fun i will say, it's a good point tony the tiger does have the red handkerchief tony the tiger right here i would say he is he is definitely a left lib. Toucan Sam is Dr. Fraser Crane, like in every way. I think that in the in the Fraser remake, I do think that uh, Toucan Sam should play Fraser. Real talk here. Toucan Sam d does nothing for the the queer community. The 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 idea the idea that because Fruit Loops are multicolored that they represent. Uh, uh, pride, I, I think, is is wrong because although they are different colors, Fruit Loops are one flavor. They give the appearance of diversity while, in fact, uh, enforcing hegemony. My decision is final. Now, the Trix Rabbit. I'm of two minds about the Trix Rabbit because, uh, on the one hand, he's he's clearly under the thumb of the state in that he is forbidden from having tricks. Because they're uh, for kids. Rabbits can't eat cereal. It would it would it would hurt him quite badly if he ate it. But then again, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Th this is me mirroring the language of the oppressor, I think, because th I'm trying to decide what's best for the tricks rabbit as though he's not able to d decide that for himself. The, the problem is, I don't feel like the tricks rabbit is allowed to be himself and, and become who he's meant to be. He's he's held back by not getting the cereal that he, seems to be the only thing he wants. Trix Rabbit definitely has a sense of entitlement. Does he? Does he though? All he wants is a bowl of cereal. All he wants is one bowl of cereal that is constantly withheld from him. I also... Wendy. Again, it's hard to say because no personality whatsoever. I get a trad wife vibe off of Wendy. This mascot is overlooked and for years, Dave Thomas, who had very little stage presence, was the was the on-screen mascot for Wendy's, simply because he opened the company. You know, that, that tells me, the, Wendy, Wendy doesn't want the spotlight. And now for the main event, Ronald McDonald. I think we can acknowledge Ronald McDonald and I have our ideological differences, but I have to respect he's done a great deal of work for charity. You don't have to you don't have to like him, but I think that we can acknowledge this. That being said, I do feel that a lot of Ronald McDonald's friends are food that is sold at McDonald's that he then sells and lets people eat for money. Aside from Grimace, MAGA Republican, as we've established, uh, and Birdie, like all of his friends, or McDonald's food, and I guess Hamburglar as well. Charity buys favorable views. I look. I, I'm not. I'm trying to be. I'm. I'm trying to be fair here. I'm trying to be impartial. Obviously, I, I don't think that Ronald McDonald's charity work undoes the harm he's done. But I think it's it's fair to acknowledge. You know, none of these other mascots have charitable foundations, except maybe the Starbucks Siren. I don't know. Birdie is the chicken nugget. No, she's not. That's incorrect. I know this because there were sentient chicken nuggets in the commercials. I definitely get a strong authoritarian vibe from Ronald McDonald. I know he's a clown and clowns are meant to speak truth to power, but I don't get that vibe from him. I'm just going to... We got to agree. Ronald McDonald is off right, but how off right? I think the Burger King, it still beats him. Burger King, 
is a, a literal monarchist. Like it doesn't get any more authoritarian or right than that. Now, the question is, now that we've got this, this all filled out, now that we see it all put together like this, is there anything we want to change? I feel like the Noid is way more anarchist. The Noid is pretty far in the little left corner. Come on. There's an element of chaos to the Noid's actions that I don't think can be ignored. I don't think he cares particularly for the collateral damage he causes in his wake. What about the Cocoa Puffs guy? The Cocoa Puffs uh, Dodo is not fit to stand trial because he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And Burglar is farther left. Ah, yeah, I do. In, in the sober light of day, I do feel like the Hamburglar is probably farther left than I, I said he was. I will agree. Do Batman villain political leanings? Now there's an idea. Also, is this something I should keep doing? I had a lot of fun ranking these mascots.